my brothers and sisters. I, I, I think of E equals MC squared. Albert Einstein was right. Because you see, the theory of relativity says if, if, if light is, tra is traveling at how much? 300,000 kilometers per second or 186,000 miles per second. That's pretty fast. Uh, even the trooper wouldn't be able to catch up to you to give you the ticket. You know what 186,000 miles per second is? Seven times around the planet in one second. <laughs> I guess the Rasmussen's turned on their front porch light finally. Light is that fast. And our universe is so vast. Imagine 186,000 miles per second. How far does that, ray, uh, that beam of light travel in one year if one second is this? It's like an 800 page book of a bunch of zeros with 186 at the beginning. And what it travels in one year, and yet it's millions of light years that measure our little solar system, and we're not one of the larger solar systems in the universe. We are this small compared to an, a world, a, a, a universe of solar systems, and you, you, you can go millions of light years and never reach the end of space. You see, light is power. Now, somebody once told me, if you were to look at the beam of light like a train, now try to follow me. <clears throat> I, I enjoy physics now. Uh, pretend the light is a, a train, and how fast is it traveling? 186,000 miles per second. Now, if you get into that train from this platform and you ride the train for 186,000 miles per second, <laughs> We didn't even see you take off. To us, you simply disappeared. That's how fast you were going. You went beyond what we can perceive and see. You went 186,000 miles the first second. So to us, you disappeared. And, and, and now think of this. You go 15 minutes that way, and now the train turns around and comes 15 minutes back. How long have you been gone? 15 plus 15 is 30 minutes. You step out onto the platform. The next time you bring your friend... And your friend says, okay, I want to do it now. Your friend gets into the train and leaves for 15 minutes at 186,000 miles per second and comes back 15 minutes later. How long has your friend been in the train? 30 minutes. And when he climbs out and sees you on the platform, how long have you been standing there waiting for him? 30 years. That's relativity. 30 minutes can be 30 years. The difference is... The one who's inside the light, time almost stands still because that's how fast they're going. Now imagine the Bible says, for God, a day can be a thousand years and a thousand years can be a day. For God, he moves freely through the dimensions of time. That means God has absolute time for each one of us because he moves freely through something even greater than relativity. Relativity of Einstein, it helps us understand just 30 minutes versus 30 years. If you don't get it, go talk to your niece. She got an A in physics. The power of this is light confounds us. We're told in Revelation, there will be no more sun. Jesus himself will be our light in heaven. So now, as the apostles claims, Christ in me, the hope of glory. See, now with Christ in you, you have a light to shine to others, but not with fanaticism, not to hurt them and drive them away from the church. You are to use the light so that others can see, so they don't stumble, so they don't fall. Last night, I came right to this edge of the platform. I almost fell off. That would have been awful. Of course, some of you would have giggled. But luckily enough, light shone on the edge that I just... <sighs> half my shoe was already off the platform. And I've never fallen yet. I didn't want the first one to be at Oregon camp meeting. Light is power. Power. 